The attack on Kursk was the first step in the Putin regime's slide towards disaster. Russian political scientist Dmitry Oreshkin said this. The ideology of Putin's regime is, he is the only one who protects us. Now it is clear that he is only protecting himself and his political ambitions. The idea is already starting to take its place in the public opinion of Russia. Even the bloggers of the government ask, where are the troops of the CSTO? People were taught that we won the Second World War and will win again. In fact, it is not so, because the anti-Hitler coalition won the war, not us. There were 20 countries, including the United States, as members. Now, when it is not possible to win, public opinion is looking for a culprit, he said. According to Oreshki, the Russian state may face disaster. All generals see that Chechens do not fight. They run away, leaving the soldiers behind. Why? Because Ramzan Kadyrov protects them from participation in the post-Putin civil war. This is an indication of the beginning of the division of the territory of Russia. Putin will be gone someday, and these guys will stay and fight to make it clear who is the leader. The situation is similar to 1915 to 1916. Markus Faber, the head of the Bundestag's defense committee, said that Kursk operation showed that Russian leader Vladimir Putin has no control over anything and created a good basis for negotiations with his successor. According to him, the offensive of the Ukrainian armed forces against the Russians near Kursk is going better than expected. This step shows the Russian people that their dictator does not control anything and the military leadership is unable to fulfill its duties. A good basis has been formed for peace negotiations with Putin's successor. Also, a basis has been formed for negotiations with Putin at the International Criminal Court. He noted that such an operation forces the Russians to withdraw a large number of troops from eastern Ukraine. It reduces tensions, so there is good reason to talk about Leopard 2 tanks. Our military aid to Ukraine is the best investment in our security. It reduces the potential of the Russian threat every day. A pilot has died after a helicopter crashed on the roof of hotel in Cairns City in Australia's far north Queensland. The helicopter hit the Doubletree by Hilton Hotel in Cairns at around 2 a.m. local time on Monday, sparking fire. Emergency services rushed to the scene of the incident. Authorities said two hotel guests, a man in his 80s and a woman in her 70s, were injured in the crash and taken to hospital in a stable condition. The company that charters the helicopter stated it was on an unauthorized flight. Queensland police and the aviation safety watchdog are investigating the circumstances of the crash. The Australian Transport Safety Bureau will also be sending investigators to the scene. Building, they had no idea what hit them. They said that something big, big hit the building, and um, this, if you 